Hey, you! Boy! You've got to get me out of here! Quickly, please! I was abducted. An elf freed me. They want... You've got to believe me. I have the key to something that could determine the fate of the war. Listen, boy. It's too late! You see this ring? It's the key! Take it to the human archmage in the town of Seastone. You understand? But... All of our fates depend on it! A golden ring. Oh, dude, sure. dude, nobody's going to believe this. There's no way I'll make it down to the human town by the sea on my own. I need help. I should ask the Master Brewer for help. Or Grandad. He fought for the Alliance. You just got a golden ring, which very pretty looks like a ring uh, everyone should know already, right? A heavy gold ring. Oh, it feels warm. Yes. There is some fine script on the inside, but I can't make out what yes, it says. Yes, of course. Okay. A rolled up tarpaulin. Probably just like the ones hanging all over the place. The tarps are supposed to offer the stonemasons a little protection. They have to be pretty tough if they're out there in all kinds of weather. I'm not climbing up there, it's all iced up. I'd probably end up breaking my neck. Probably the statue of some famous dwarven leader. I don't know much about their history. Apparently the statue is not quite finished. Still, it looks much better than the others do. The bastion looks so impressive. However, many of the halls and corridors were never completed. Originally, hundreds of dwarves were supposed to live here to defend the Mountain Kingdom's northern front. Now the Master Brewer and my family are the only ones left. A rip-proof tarpaulin with eyes along the sides. Surprisingly light. Uh -huh. That's the entrance to my family's gnome hall. We've been living here for generations. Okay. Of course, it's pretty cold all year round up here in the mountains. But this year, winter came particularly early. It worked. I got one. I just take everything with me. A crystal clear icicle. I broke it off outside the bastion. Icicle? That's a cool word. Okay, uh, let's just save here. I don't know if it's an autosave. Okay. Okay. Then let's just Look around here. For There's no way I can walk all the way to Seastone. That's many days march through these mountains. Yep. All right. A chair. Yeah. This chair is completely uninteresting. <laughs> like I said, a chair to sit on. It's still a chair. A totally uninteresting chair, which is absolutely no help to me. Not now, not ever. It <laughs> is a chair. Honest. Okay, whatever. It's okay. a horse. <laughs> a beautiful big white horse. What is your problem? A chair is a chair is a chair. I'm not going to answer. The chair, of course. That's the key to it all. Not 
a chair. This chair is completely uninteresting. Like I said, okay. that door is part of Dad's living space optimization unit. Behind it is sort of a car park for rooms. This chair is my favorite object in this whole game. I promise. That's my family. Right now, just Grandad and I are holding down the fort. The others are all at a technology trade show down south. <laughs> my dad is a mechanic and a physicist. He primarily works on, uh, things. Mother is just a whole wife and geneticist. The baby is my little sister, Sydney. I think she'll be a researcher too. She once doubled her baby phone's data transfer rate using nothing but a rattle and a rubber ball. My other little sister is Maggie, my parents' pride and joy. She mainly concentrates on robotics, combat robots to be exact. Grandad is a war veteran and conducts secret military research, whenever Dad lets him in the workshop, that is. Looks like I'm the proverbial exception to the rule. I'd rather go out into the world and become a mage, a hero like Knight Tilo. But someone has to look after Grandad and the Master Brewer. I'm more of a local, unsung hero. Mm-hmm. That's my family. Yes. Right now, just Grandad and I are holding down okay. the fort. My dad okay. is a mechanic. Okay. Mother, she okay. wants my other Grandad looks like yep. I'd rock. Another one of Dad's inventions. He calls it eclecticity or something. It's got something to do with hamsters. With hamsters. Okay. We used to have jelly glowfish all over the walls. I found that a little cozier. Hey, my mechanical flying fish Nemo. How did you get there? One of the few technical devices I ever built. Well, to be honest, actually my father and my sister really, but uh, I did watch. It still works. A solid example of norm technology, if I do say so myself. That's just great. I'm enchanted by this cute flying object. Just look. Those flying circles. How great is that? <laughs> oh, I can't reach that. But it's, it's great. <laughs> it's just so great. Those are the controls for our living space optimization unit. My father invented them. This is my very cool room. Those cogs belong to Dad's living space optimization unit. The machine takes up a total of three rooms in our hall. A flower pot full of potting soil. Hmm, doesn't look like Mother planted anything in there. Hmm. 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 Okay. <laughs> Those are my mum's plants. She grows a lot of that green stuff. She keeps trying to genetically change the plants so they can grow up here amidst the icy mountains. The plants have grown. I could have sworn they weren't here yesterday. Mum probably uses a really good fertilizer. My mother is a real whole wife. She spends her time on chemistry, biology, genetics, and that kind of stuff. I think I'll just leave that alone. We norms have a golden rule, hands off another norms experiments. My old gnome scout rucksack. Pretty tough, that. But somehow I always had the feeling it could have been a little larger. I wonder if putting small bags and pouches in it would increase the rucksack's capacity. Yeah. Definitely. My old gnome scout rucksack. 
pretty tough, that, but somehow I always had the feeling it could have been a little larger. My old tennis racket, although I was never very good. The cat cut is missing. What did I use that for? The frame of my old tennis racket. The cat cut. I'll just knot the loose ends around the frame. Done. Wouldn't want to play tennis with it, but it does make a fine scoop net. Good. Can we put it in the rucksack? No. Uh... Bedroom. That's the lever for my parents' bedroom. I can't use it until they get back. Why not? Huh? That's the lever for my little sister's bedroom. I'm not touching that. <laughs> she builds combat robots, <laughs> and she kind of hinted that she knows how to protect her privacy. Yeah, cool. Kitchen. Our kitchen. Mm-hmm. The grain mill. Our flour mill. Mother makes sure we eat a healthy diet. One day we'll all be big and strong, comparatively. <laughs> That's cute. Hmm. There's still some grain in the funnel. Barley, I think. Hmm, a pale blue glowing liquid. Something tells me it's probably not good for you. My mum wrote super fertilizer on it. Probably one of her genetic experiments. Oh, okay. Mum hid the knives as a precaution. After Grandad's knife throwing training classes last year, she doesn't trust us anymore. Master Merlin's antibacterial kitchen cleaner. The dirt disappears like magic. If only I could cast spells like Merlin, or any other household cleaner for that matter. Master Merlin's antibacterial kitchen cleaner. The dirt disappears like magic. If only I could cast spells. I don't even know what to do with one handful of barley. Why do I need two, then? Okay. Uh, I don't think so. No. No, 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 no. No. Okay. And down we go. Mm -hmm. I like that house. Hold! Who's there? Hi, Grandad. It's me. I doubt it. What's the password? Uh... Fluffy bunny? Nuclear first strike, sir. Hmm. Correct. What do you want? A gremlin gave me this ring. He said it's very important. He said the ring has to be delivered to the Archmage as quickly as possible. A ring? Have you checked it for contamination? Con... Con... Um... What? For curses, hexes, poison. I, uh... What am I talking about? Of course you have. No one would accept a ring from a gremlin and not check it for curses. Dangerous little blight as those gremlins. You shouldn't feed them after midnight, you know. Yes. The, uh, the, the, the gremlin said this ring could decide the course of the entire war. Decide the course of the war? That would be... Where is this gremlin? He's been kidnapped. He barely had time to give me this ring. It should be taken to the Archmage as quickly as possible. The Archmage? Hmm. Yes, yes. 
he'd know what to do. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what we've trained for. Uh... This is the hour in which a stout youngster becomes an adult. The hour of glory. The hour of fame. Hour, hour. But what, what do you mean stout? Does everyone know what they have to do? No. Right, men. Let it be so. Um... Okay... What? A thin, silvery elven rope. It's very light and almost unbreakable. Dad's vice brings back a lot of memories. Painful, mostly. <laughs> Dad's vice. A huge machine, I mean, even for Grandad. He's really taking advantage of Mum and Dad being away. <laughs> Grandad has this thing about secrecy. I think he's afraid of Shadow Army spies or something. This family is very sympathetic. Grandad? Call me Colonel! Just what exactly are we to do now, Colonel Grandad? We've just discussed that. You get the equipment, I'll sort out the means of transport. Equipment for what? For what? For your journey to the town of the humans, of course. You need to pay more attention, my boy. I'm supposed to... I, I thought someone else... Oh, I very much doubt you'll find anyone else here who's prepared to look death in the eye. This is your chance to be a tragic hero, my boy. A painful loss for the Alliance. Don't you want to be a hero? Sure, I I'd like to do something exciting, but I'm not sure I'm ready to try being a... Uh... Try? There is no try, only do. This is your chance. You'll be a hero, and I'll show everyone that this old gnome is still good for something. So, here's the plan. You get yourself some good gear, I'll sort out the means of transport. All right. I can have a look around, but no promises. About my equipment. Yes? Have you got everything? I don't know. What exactly should I take? Let me think. You need a helmet. You can fight without legs, but you can't fight without a head. Without legs? And you need a map of the area. Reconnaissance is everything. We are living in the information age. So I need a map and a helmet. Got it. And then, of course, you need a parachute. Better to be safe than sorry. Um, just why I need a parachute? Just a precaution. Uh... Uh, about this ring I got. This ring, do you really think it could end the war? I don't know if there's anything that can end this war. The gremlin said it would change all our fates. Maybe it's a powerful magic ring. We are simply soldiers, my boy. We fight when we are told to. Don't worry yourself about anything else. Sounds sensible. Do you know the Archmage? Have you ever met him? I've never met him. After all, he's a great leader and I'm just a simple, highly decorated gnome colonel. But I've heard lots about him. He's a powerful mage, of course. He's an advisor to the king. And he's our most powerful alchemist and chief of the Secret Service. He lives in a tower down by the sea in Seastone. Of course, being the important man he is, he's always away on business. I hope he's there. I always wanted to meet a real mage. If he's not there, you'll have to wait for him or go and look for him. You must only give the ring to the Archmage in person, you hear me? No one else. Give me your word of honor. If the ring really is important, 
then it shouldn't be our fault if it lands in the wrong hands. Okay, okay. I swear I'll give it to the Archmage personally. Just exactly how am I supposed to get into the human's town? Um, I'm supposed to travel to the human town in your machine, right? Absolutely, it's the quickest way. And the safest? Absolutely, it's the quickest way. <laughs> cool. I'll go look for the rest of my gear. You do that. I've got enough to do here. But remember, never look a Medusa in the eye. And never look at anyone on the underground. Right. Okay.